Hello, we are in A Course in Miracles, Workbook for Students, Part 1 of the Workbook, and we are in Lesson 106. Let me be still and listen to the truth. If you will lay aside the ego's voice, however loudly it may seem to call, if you will not accept its petty gifts, which give you nothing that you really want, if you will listen with an open mind, which has not told you what salvation is, then you will hear the mighty voice of truth, quiet in power, strong in stillness, and completely certain in its messages. Listen and hear your Father speak to you through his appointed voice, which silences the thunder of the meaningless and shows the way to peace to those who cannot see. Be still today and listen to the truth. Be not deceived by the voices of the dead. As we see in the next paragraph, the voices of the dead is a figurative way of talking about the voices of the world. Be not deceived by the voices of the dead, which tell you they have found the source of life and offer it to you for your belief. Attend them not, but listen to the truth. Be not afraid today to circumvent the voices of the world. Walk lightly past their meaningless persuasion. Hear them not. Be still and listen to the truth. Go past all things which do not speak of him who holds your happiness within his hand, held out to you in welcome and in love. Hear only him today and do not wait to reach him longer. Hear one voice today. Today the promise of God's word is kept. Hear and be silent. He would speak to you. He comes with miracles a thousand times as happy and as wonderful as, the, as those you ever dreamed or wished for in your dreams. His miracles are true. They will not fade when dreaming ends. They end the dream instead and last forever. For they come from God to his dear Son, Whose, whose other name is you. Prepare yourself for miracles today. Today, allow your Father's ancient pledge to you and all your brothers to be kept. Hear him today and listen to the word which lifts the veil that lies upon the earth and wakes all those who sleep and cannot see. He calls to them through you. He needs your voice to speak to them. For who could reach God's Son except his Father, calling through yourself? <clears throat> Hear him today and offer him your voice to speak to all the multitude who wait to hear the, hear the word he will speak today. Be ready for salvation. It is here and will today be given unto you. And you will learn your function from the one who chose it in your Father's name for you. Listen today and you will hear a voice that will resound throughout the world through you. The bringer of all miracles has need that you receive them first and thus become the joyous giver of what you received. Thus does salvation start, and thus it ends. When everything is yours and everything is given away, it will remain with you forever, and the lesson has been learned. Today we practice giving, not the way you understand it now, but as it is. The longer exercises should, be, should begin with this request for your enlightenment. I will be still and listen to the truth. 
What does it mean to give and to receive? Ask and, ins and expect an answer. Your request is one whose answer has been waiting long to be received by you. It will begin the ministry for which you came in which you will free the world from thinking giving is a way to lose. And so the world becomes ready to understand and to receive. Be still and listen to the truth today. For each five minutes spent in listening, a thousand minds are open to the truth. And they will hear the holy word you hear. And when the hour is past, you can again release a thousand more who pause to ask that truth be given them along with you. Today, the holy word of God is kept through your receiving it to give away, so you can teach the world what giving means by listening and learning it of him. Do not forget today to reinforce your choice to hear and to receive the word by this reminder given to yourself as often as is possible today. Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is his to give what I receive. All right, and now we are going to read <laughs> the commentary by Alan Watson and Robert Perry. Lesson 106, April 16th. Let me be still and listen to the truth. The purpose of this lesson is to lay aside the ego's voice still in your mind and listen to your father's voice and then to offer him your voice to speak to all who need to hear his word. Every hour on the hour for five minutes, if you cannot do this, at least do the alternate, <clears throat> which is just hourly as often as you can. Say... I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Spend the rest of the time waiting for your answer from the Holy Spirit. It is important, however, to understand what you are really asking. You are asking to receive from God, to hear his voice and receive his word, to be filled up from within so that you can give to your brothers which in turn will make your receiving even more full and complete. It is important then to offer him your willingness to give what you receive. This giving will apparently happen both within the practice period as your mind goes out to other minds and after the practice period as what you experience today inspires you to actually begin the ministry for which you came. While you wait for your answer, remember the training you received in earlier lessons. Hold your mind in silent readiness, drawing it back when it lapses into listening to the ego's voice. Listen with confidence, expect an answer, and periodically repeat your question to renew your posture of expectant waiting. Frequent reminders as often as possible. Say, let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is his to give what I receive. This will reinforce, reinforce your choice to receive his word, which prepares you to give. Encouragement to practice. Be aware that your practice is not an act of solitary self-indulgence. Rather, by sitting down and doing your practice, you will literally be releasing minds all over the world. 
For each five minutes spent in listening, a thousand minds are open to the truth, and they will hear the holy word you hear. Commentary At first, today's lesson does not seem to follow yesterday's theme on giving and receiving. But midway through, it switches back to that theme. It seems like an abrupt switch, perhaps. The first part of the lesson, speaking of, sp speaking of stilling our minds to listen to God's voice, doesn't seem to lead naturally into thoughts of giving and receiving. Yet, this is what we are listening for. This is what we hear. We are learning of our true nature. This is the message of salvation. When everything is yours and everything is given away, it will remain with you forever. What am I in this world for? According to this lesson, it is to hear the voice for God telling me of God's eternal gift to me, the gift of Christ, the gift of myself, God's dear Son, whose other name is you. And it is to extend that same message to the world. This is the ministry for which you came and which will free the world from thinking giving is a way to lose. Hearing God's voice and speaking for it are as inextricably linked in this lesson as our giving and receiving. If I truly hear the voice, I will give him my voice to speak through me. If I receive the word, I will share it because the message is sharing. God's word to me is that I am a savior, a healer, and a bringer of truth. I am his son, his offspring, like him, extending healing, offering peace and joy to everyone, letting them know they are his offspring as well. Sometimes I think we take the course too seriously and need to lighten up. At other times, I think we take it too lightly and need to take it more seriously. For instance, this lesson tells me that every time I pause for five minutes to be still and listen to the truth, one thousand minds are open to the truth. Suppose I took that seriously. Suppose I pause every hour as instructed. In the course of the day, 15,000 minds would open to the truth. Suppose everyone reading these comments did that. Then nine million minds would open to the truth. I bet that's a lot more now. I think this was published quite some time ago. Which I'll look. I'll let you know before I close this video when this was published. I don't take this kind of thing seriously enough. I shrug it off, thinking if, that if only I practice once or twice during the day, that's enough. Recently, the old Charlton Heston movie, The Ten Commandments, played on TV. I watched a few minutes of it, enough to remember a line from it that always impressed me. Moses, suffering setbacks in the early days of trying to, let, to get Pharaoh to release the Hebrews, prays to God, saying, Lord, forgive me for my weak use of thy great power. When I read today's lesson, I thought about that line. I thought about how I treat these practice times many days as if they don't really matter. I imagine myself as of little, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I imagine myself as of little consequence in his plan, at least most of the time. But if I take this lesson seriously, I could be instrumental today in bringing the light to 15,000 minds. Let's try this, because I'm guilty as charged. I, I don't have five minutes every hour during my work day. But I can, I mean... This is falling on a Sunday tomorrow. 
I'm not trying to lay guilt on anyone. Please, no guilt, no guilt, no guilt. Least, least of all myself. I am trying to raise my own consciousness concerning the power God has placed into my hands or more properly into my mind. Each of us who connects with the truth in our minds today, listening to the truth, is contributing to the evaluation, I'm sorry, elevation of consciousness on. Each of us who connects with the truth in our minds today, listening to the truth, is contributing to the elevation of consciousness on, I was going to say on this planet, but it is far more than that. It is the arousal of Christ consciousness in the whole universe. That five, little five minutes in which perhaps nothing seems to happen, in which you may be fighting a wandering mind, or which seems at times to be inter interminable as your ego prods you to get back to work or whatever you are doing. That little five minutes is a very significant contribution to the salvation of the world. Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is his to give what I receive. So let's do this on Sunday the 16th of 2017. Or whatever year it is, what it, you know, who knows how long this will be out there on the internet. But for lesson, or or what day it will be, if you're reading 106, I'm gonna set my timer from the time after I do the my first meditation in the morning, and set it. I'm not even gonna use my. I have an ACIM timer, which is wonderful, but I'm not even gonna use that. I'm just gonna set my my phone timer every 60 minutes, and then meditate for five minutes and um, not miss one and I'm going to hold myself accountable by posting I have a Facebook page um, I just changed the name so I can't remember ACIM read with me or you can connect with me um, I think it's at tis t-i-s-m-o-m-o -M -O, at tis momo um I think it's Tiz Momo, or it could be at Tiz Momo here, or just Maureen Yarbrough, or you can connect with me personally on Facebook, and let's do this, let's do this together, and I'll, I'll post, and if you're doing it, let's, uh, let's do this together, it will make it much easier to have support, and there's no guilt, um, tomorrow's my birthday, <laughs> And my body birthday, but um, and I might be riding, so I might not be able to, because we're going out tomorrow, so it might not even be exactly on the hour for me, but I am committing to doing it every hour, so even if it's not exactly on the hour, I'll do it every hour. I'm committing to that no matter where we are or what we're doing. Um, I'm committing to that now, because this is this really Alan Alan's comments here really helped me to to do this. So if you'd like to join, let's do it. No guilt, no guilt. We're just trying to raise the Christ consciousness of the universe, not even this world of the universe. I love that. So let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is his to give what I receive. And I will be doing a, I'll record a, pre-record a meditation for, to use as well. Which will just, just to be helpful. Alright, I love you. Thank you for joining with me. We are on lesson 106. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Thank you, God.